Thank you. Morning, everyone. Good morning. Well, welcome to the frozen Arctic tundra in downtown Murray, Missouri, right? And it, uh, I guess it's, uh, I don't know what the temperature is outside right now, but when we got here, I guess it was about 15 or so, something like that. And then I looked on the weather and it looks like we're maybe supposed to be in the 50s there on like Tuesday or Wednesday and then down to negative two like on Friday. Welcome to Missouri, right? Or, you know, that's the way. <laughs> I'm glad everybody's here and everybody's got smiles on and, and, uh, and even though it may be cold outside there, you know, God's heart is, is warm in our hearts. And so Larry, let's just start singing and we'll get going. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Get our hymnals and turn to page 339, Standing on the Promises, and you can't sing that setting down, so stand up. <laughs> <laughs> sounding really good today. Let's turn to page 269. He lives. Yeah. 
Today is uh, what they, we celebrate as Sanctity of Human Life Sunday, and, and um, so I thought I'd read Psalm 139 because I think it really reminds us. So just allow the words of the Lord to, to kind of wash over you, then we'll pray. Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit down and when I stand up, you understand my thoughts from afar. You observe my travels and my rest, you are aware of all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it. You know all about it, Lord. You have encircled me. You have placed your hand on me. This extraordinary knowledge is beyond me. It is lofty. I am unable to reach it. Where can I escape from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in shale, you are there. If I live in the eastern horizon or settle at the western limits, even there... Your hand will lead me. Your right hand will hold on to me. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light around me will be night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night shines like the day. Darkness and light are alike to you. For it was you who created my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will praise you because I am remarkably and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, and I know them very well. My bones were not hidden from you when I was made in secret, when I was formed in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw me when I was formless. Think about that for a minute. Your eyes saw me when I was formless. All my days were written in your book and planned before a single one of them began. God, how difficult your thoughts are for me to come comprehend how vast the sum of them. If I could count them, they would outnumber the grains of the sand. When I wake up, I am still with you. God, if only you would kill the wicked, you bloodthirsty men, stay away from me who invoke your deceitful, your enemies swear by you falsely. Lord, don't I hate those who hate you and detest those who rebel against you? I hate them with an extreme hatred. I consider them my enemies. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my concerns. See if there be any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Let's pray. Father in heaven, what a just amazing word from you about how intimately you know us. Before a word comes to our lips, you know it. There's no place we can go to escape your presence. And in this time when it sure feels pretty dark out, you say, dark is as light to me. And so God, in all of that, you are here. And then you talk about how you have woven us in our mother's womb. How you knew me before I was even known. God, I I pray that we might continue to uphold life. That we might continue to help people understand and just try to enter into a dialogue about when you begin to belittle any type of life, you begin to belittle all life. And so God, I pray that as we just think about that, maybe a a little more intently today, 
that you would, uh, again, put in us a desire to just honor the life we have in you. And may our lives just reflect that to others as well. We don't generally change anybody's mind by arguing, but we do change people's mind by living. And so, God, may we do that today. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Well, do we have any uh, testimony that somebody would like to share? Mine would be, I haven't fallen down yet in the snow and ice. <laughs> Christy was kind of skating across the parking lot earlier. Oh my God, anything? Okay. All right, Larry. Let's turn our handles to 435. Just as I... Whoops. Victory in Jesus. I'm sorry. 435? Is it 499? 499. I'm sorry. I was going to end the services right now. 435. <laughs> 499 would be the best way well, to do it. I wasn't ready to go either, so. Okay. <laughs> I was going to have short service. Though. <laughs> I heard an old, old story how a Savior came from glory. How he gave his life on Calvary to save a rest. Sweet day.